straight. He was direct, not like us. You know, we come, we beat about. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Improve your tongue. Improve your tongue. Increase the remembrance of Allah. Ramadan is a month of remembrance. Think of the most powerful words you could say. Occupy your tongue with them. Subhanallah. All praise is due to Allah. Glory be to Allah. Allah is the greatest. I thank you, O oh Allah. And so on. Read the Quran. Ramadan is a month of the Quran. Many of us don't read the Quran enough. I wouldn't even want to ask you how many of you have opened the Quran today because I'm one of those who didn't. May Allah forgive me. That doesn't mean I didn't read it. I read a little bit, but I can do much better than I have. I didn't open the Mus'haf today. I feel embarrassed, but the reason I'm admitting it in front of the whole world is to show you that we all need help. We all need to improve. When I talk to you, it's not like I'm telling you guys, you need to do this. We need to do this. I am included in it. May Allah forgive me and help me and every one of us. So my brothers and sisters, it's the month of the Quran. How much Quran are you reading from now? Subhanallah. It is a month where we should be careful of what comes out of our mouth. Yet many of us are only careful about what goes into our mouths. I shouldn't eat. I shouldn't drink. We'll ask. We'll phone the scholar and say, you know, I used the nasal spray and I felt a small drop going in. Is my fast valid? But we won't say I've been swearing my wife all afternoon. Is my fast valid? Yeah. We won't say, I was so angry with the guy on the road, I started swearing him, Fs and Bs, I almost beat him up, is my fast valid. We won't say that, but we'll ask about, you know, I was asthmatic and I felt like coughing and you know, I put a little spray in my mouth and, and I started breathing okay and someone told me your fast is not valid, is it okay, is it not okay? My brother, there are bigger things that you are not even worried about. Look at what I'm saying, we're talking about the 1 gram, 0.1 gram of lead on an alloy. Subhanallah, that affects your whole vehicle. I promise you, your entire paradise can be achieved or lost based on one small deed. So do not belittle the value of goodness, even if it is a little smile. And do not belittle the damage of a sin, even if it is a drop of backbiting. You see what is backbiting? Subhanallah, we talk about people behind their backs. My brothers and sisters, I challenge you and myself, don't talk about others. Don't talk about them unless you're saying something good. Or unless you are involved in it and you need your right. لا يحب الله الجهر بالسوء من القول إلا من ظلم Allah does not like you to speak openly about some bad of someone unless you have been oppressed. When you're oppressed, I will go to the police perhaps and complain, you know, that man did this and he did that. I mean, I can't go to the policeman and say, guys, you know, something happened, but I'm a Muslim, I'm not allowed to backbite. They look at you and say, what? I can't backbite, but something happened. <laughs> so that proves that you are allowed to speak sometimes when you have to about someone, you're involved, you're oppressed, you need your right. You have to open your mouth and you're going to have to say, this man did that, that one did this and I really need your help and so on. But when it doesn't concern you, it's not that major. It is something that subhanallah, you just want to belittle someone. Juicy gossip will also break your fast. Do you know that? But it breaks it in a different way. It nullifies the reward of your fast. It nullifies the reward of your fast. Juicy gossip, but we love it. We marinate it as well. Do you know how? Subhanallah. We add flavor to it. We just heard, you know, oh, do you see that guy's walking 